Behind every scientific achievement that improves our lives, there is scientific research. The aim of some scientific research is to create useful technologies that solve specific problems in the near term. This is commonly called applied research. Other scientific research is driven more by curiosity and a desire to improve our understanding of life and the world we live in. It is called basic research, and it generates fundamental knowledge that fuels applied research. In a process that can span years, maybe even decades, basic research provides essential building blocks for creating innovations and making scientific advancements that improve the human condition. In human health, for instance, insights from basic research paves the path for new therapies and cures. Let's look at an example of how this has worked for a disease we've all heard of. Diabetes has become a worldwide epidemic. Approximately 30% of diabetes patients require insulin. A great example of basic research leading to a modern innovation is synthetic insulin production. And this was actually the result of six decades of basic research. Now, some of these scientists were probably interested in diabetes, but most of them were just interested in studying DNA, studying the molecule of life, how it encodes for proteins such as insulin. Not too long ago, insulin was prepared by extracting it from lots of animal tissues. Today, insulin is made um, synthetically using modern DNA technology in a lab. Before synthetic insulin could be produced, three key scientific discoveries had to be made. First, scientists had to figure out the structure of DNA and that it was a double helix. Secondly, scientists had to figure out sort of the chemical language of DNA and how it encodes for proteins, such as insulin. And third, scientists had to develop new molecular tools to cut apart pieces of DNA and stick them back together to form a new molecule. Over time, breakthroughs in DNA technologies have allowed scientists to modify DNA with greater precision and ease to improve the cutting and pasting process and even make exact changes at specific locations in a DNA strand. The new molecular tools act like text editing software. They allow scientists to easily search and find a specific location in DNA and then change the DNA sequence, like retyping the letters or precisely adding and subtracting letters to make a change in the gene. Although technology now exists to sequence every gene in the genome, we still don't know what every gene does. Oftentimes, human diseases are caused by genetic mutations. Now that we can precisely edit a gene, we can duplicate what is happening in a human disease in a model organism more easily. That allows researchers to better understand the cause and effect underlying these diseases and one day hopefully contribute knowledge towards better treatment for human health. So basic research is kind of like a gamble. It can be exciting and unpredictable. You never know when the next breakthrough is going to be. But so much of basic research um, you know, builds upon our scientific knowledge base. And then that knowledge base can be used to make an important innovation, important technology. The sum of knowledge produced by scientists studying diabetes and DNA in basic ways led to new applications such as synthetic insulin production that today millions of people with diabetes rely on to live. Basic research constantly gives rise to new technologies that in turn enable new basic research. And this cycle of discovery is fueled by dedicated scientists such as the ones working at the Stowers Institute.